Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to enable FTPM or TPM 2.0 on your Windows PC and also secure boot. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So I'm attempting to upgrade to Windows 11 right now, but there's certain things I need to do before I can do that. Now to get to the screen, you can go to settings right here and select this and then go to update and security. Then right here, you will need to go ahead and download PC health check. And that is what this will be. Then you can check now. And this will tell you if your computer meets the requirements for Windows 11 upgrade. So we can go to see all results. Now you will need to go ahead and enable TPM 2.0 and also your PC needs to support secure boot as well as you know some other information like um, amount of system storage etc so how would we go ahead and enable this on our PC well we need to enter the BIOS menu now you can easily do this by going to the start menu and just restarting your computer and then keep pressing the delete key until you eventually enter the BIOS menu now there will be a quick flash that will say press F12 for menu, press F9 to enter blah 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 for the BIOS menu, etc. Or it could be like an F2 or F8 key. But the easiest way for me to enter the screen without having to glimpse at the screen very quickly and to determine what button I have to press. For this way I can just go to settings, then go to update and security once again. Then go to recovery and then go to restart now under advanced setup. So let's select restart now. Then go to troubleshoot, advanced options, UEFI firmware settings and select this and go to restart. And this will restart your computer into the BIOS menu. So if that option doesn't appear, restart your computer. And when it's restarting, keep pressing the delete key and eventually you should get to the screen. Now, if it doesn't look like this, you can try pressing the F2 key, and this will be the easy mode where it's just gonna give you information about your computer. If you press F2, it should bring you to the, the advanced menu screen here. Now, to enable TPM 2.0, let's go over to peripherals. And then under here, we should see something like trusted computing 2.0 or trusted computing or on yours it might be like PTT or FTPM or TPM something like that so let's go to trusted computing and then we should have to enable security device support and just enable that now mine is already enabled so it may look a little bit different but those are the general settings you are looking for FTPM PTT or TPM now, the other one is Secure Boot, and we want to go over to BIOS now, and then go to something that says CPM Support. And now, this may be enabled for you, so mine says Enabled. Now, if I go to this, at the bottom you can't see Secure Boot anymore. So if I go to CSM Support, and then go to this, and go to Delete now, or Disable, you can see secure boot shows up on the bottom now and I can go to this and I'll go to secure boot mode. If it says custom, switch it over to standard. Then when you try to enable this now, it may say something where you have to disable CSM to enable it or something like that. So go back to the main BIOS screen right here, go to CSM, make sure this is disabled, go over to save and exit and then go to save exit right here. Press enter on it and go to yes. And then restart your computers back into the BIOS menu. And then you'll have to come in to the BIOS section one more time, go to secure boot, and then you should be able to enable secure boot mode right here on the top. So just go ahead and make sure this is enabled now. Now before you do this, you wanna make sure you have your Windows C drive, your Windows drive set to GPT instead of MBR. So the way I showed you to boot your computer into the BIOS menu 
and you had to go to like troubleshooting and the UEFI settings, that means you have GPT already enabled. If you had to restart your computer and hit like the delete key or something, that means you do not have GPT enabled at the moment. It is currently MBR and you need to convert your Windows drive over to GPT. And I have an entire video on that located in my description below or maybe the comments section. And you're gonna need that to upgrade to Windows 11 also. So hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. Did go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.